Alright YouTube, this is Chris from Big Experimental Services. I am using my Sony Handycam. It records on digital uh, DVDs rather, mini DVDs. And it's got a night shot which is essentially night vision. And uh, it's on right now and I've got it's kind of like an IR pass filter. Um, as you can see, regular night vision. If you don't have a filter on it or uh, a day cap of some kind, something. Um, it whitewashes out. I'll turn the night shot off. That's off. Now it's back on. Oh, well, first I'll show you. All I do is rip the ear pieces off and fold it over. And then I place it in front of the lens. Like so. And uh, it's a way to day record for UFOs because UFOs will hide under the infrared spectrum. Um, when we see them, they're un they're uncloaked, whether it's on purpose or by accident. But yeah, so I'm trying different de techniques. I really can't afford an IR pass filter, uh, so I'm trying different ways. I did have tape. Um, if you take a piece of tape and put it on the end of the camera and have a little hole poked in it, you can it'll do the same thing. Um, you just won't get the black and white color like a like night vision. Um, so yeah, hopefully we caught something. These things are fast too, so UFOs are always fast when they want to be. They're slow when they want to be as well. Let's see what the moon looks like with the night vision with the filter on. Sorry, I don't have my tripod. Um, and once you get to a certain zoom, it starts kind of rocking back and forth, so. That's not me shaking, that's the camera. That's pretty cool. So anyway, I'm going to check this out and see if I happen to catch UFO. That'd be nice. Because if you go, if you go watch my um, videos, my Yukon Ranger night vision, um, the way I had to do that, and there was just no way I could zoom in or zoom out, and that's actual night vision. And I've caught several UFOs using that. Um, but, and I couldn't do audio or anything else like that. I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces of a paranormal gear that I have. But one reason I didn't use this is because it records on mini DVDs. And I couldn't, um, where'd it go? And I couldn't get it to copy over to the computer. Uh, you gotta finalize them and stuff like that. Well, I found a way if you, you can copy it using the EasyCat over to use an OBS screen recorder and I'll make a video how to do that. And it, it same works for tape recorders, you know, the old school tape recorders and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. And then you can just format the disc and you're back to be able to use them again. And you can remove them without finalizing them and it doesn't erase the uh, discs. So, anyway, rate, comment, subscribe guys and I'll see you on the next one. Hello YouTube, this is Chris again with Baker's Realm Services. This is our moon through an IR pass filter. Well, it's 3D glasses uh, with the arms cut off and then folded in half. So the two lenses are together. Recorded with my Sony Handycam. It records on many DVDs. There's a reason why I haven't been using it. Because of that, I couldn't transfer it over to the computer. Uh, but I figured out how to do that and I will be making a video about that so you guys know how to do it if you're having the same problem. I originally did this so I could look for UFOs because they cloak themselves under the infrared spectrum. And there was a 
thought I caught a UFO in my other video that I just made and I don't see it here so that tells me that was a UFO couldn't have been a star because it's not here and it was very very clear and visible on my other video it's a white dot and I am not seeing it on this video and it's not there now so that tells me that was a UFO I got my tripod out that was me just kicking my tripod but I seriously don't see a UFO or that star what I what, what I thought could have been a possibly a star in the other video I might mix these two videos together so you can see what I'm talking about see that's what a bird looks like and to prove to you that I have the night vision on it's a night shot which is essentially a night vision night vision um, if you don't have an, uh, an IR pass filter or uh, a day cap or something um, the military usually uses them um, they'll whitewash see and I'll turn the night vision off or night shot and as you see it goes back to normal that's what it's like with the 3d glasses turn night shot on or night vision but that UFO I'm gonna say it was a UFO was right here and I was using these same glasses so as you can see it's not there so it wasn't a star and there's another bird and it did look like it took off in the, in the other one <clears throat> in the other video yeah, I'm definitely I'm probably gonna like I said mix these two together Anyway, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Feel free to use all my links in the description box or in the about me section, and uh, let me know what you think of these videos.